Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to perform another uh, AC analysis of JFET configuration and this time the configuration is voltage divider configuration. Again, I have coupling capacitor C1, C2 and CS. So that needs to be replaced by short circuit. So I am going to replace these coupling capacitors by short circuit. This is also going to be replaced by short circuit and this is also going to be shorted out and when this is going to be shorted out this resistance rs will also be shorted out so i can simply re replace the hole by the short circuit so we are going to have a short circuit over here we are going to have a short circuit over here and we are going to have a short circuit over here And this is my source terminal. This was my train terminal. So now we have simplified version of the self bias configuration. Other thing is this voltage VDD that will also be shorted out. So this will also be connected to the ground. So we are going to have a ground over here as well. So this is going to be connected to the ground which means that R1 is connected to the ground as well as R2 is connected to the ground. So I can simply say that RD is also connected to the ground and R1 is also connected to the ground. So now what we need to do is that because these two resistances have a common terminal and are both connected to the ground so I can replace this resistance as a parallel combination. So R1 and R2 can be replaced as a parallel combination. Also the RD on the output side is connected to the ground so that can also be connected to the ground in this form and when we solve this we are going to get the AC equivalent circuit like this. We can have a look this resistance is R1 and R2 are connected to the gate terminal and are both uh, connected in parallel combination to the ground and then we have the AC equivalent model. This was AC equivalent model of the junction field effect transistor which we have replaced in the circuit. And then we had the resistance RD, this resistance RD that has been replaced over here and that has been connected to the ground. So now we need to solve this circuit. This is the AC equivalent circuit of the junction field effect transistor. First of all, to find the input impedance ZI. If you can have a look, the input impedance ZI is equal to the parallel combination of R1 and R2. So Z0 will be equal to the parallel combination of R1 and R2. So this is going to be my equation number 1. Now to find the Z0, again Z0 is my this thing. And for Z0 we need to make the VI is equal to 0. And when VI is equal to 0, VGS is going to be equal to 0. So this is going to be open circuit so Z0 will be equal to the parallel combination of RD and RD. So Z0 will be equal to the parallel combination of RD parallel to the capital RD. And if RD is greater than or equal to the 10 times RD, we are going to get the Z0 is equal to RD. Which is the same equation which we derived for the output impedance of the fixed bias configuration as well as the uh, self bias configuration. Now the voltage gain which is given as AV. So to find the voltage gain we are going to have AV we are going to uh, write v, AV is equal to V0 by VI and V0 in, in this case is going to be equal to again minus ID into the output impedance and minus ID is going to be equal to the GMVGS and the output impedance is given by RD parallel to capital RD. Now VI is equal to because VI is equal to VGS so I can replace VI by VGS here so we are going to get minus GM VI RD parallel to the capital RD. Which means that we are going to have V0 by VI is equal to minus GM RD parallel to the capital RD. Again, if RD is greater than or equal to the 10 times RD, we are going to have this, their parallel combination equal to the capital RD. So we are going to have, because this is my 
voltage gain so we are going to have minus g m r d so this is my equation for the voltage gain again the negative sign is because we have current flowing from the uh, drain to source from the positive to the negative terminal and again we are going to have the 180 degree phase shift because this is the common source configuration and this equation is the same for the common source configuration of fixed bias configuration as well as the self bias configuration and so is this equation this equation was also the same the only difference was in input impedance in case of the fixed bias and the self bias the input impedance was equal to the rg but now the input impedance is equal to the parallel combination of r1 and r2 thank you